all the energy, the tension, the excitement, the electricity. Let's get ready. Buckle up, everybody. It should be a fun one tonight on the ice for EA Sports. And we are about set to drop the puck tonight. The Flyers start with possession as we are now underway. Goes right to the crease. Denies him. Once he drops into that butterfly, he's pretty confident. He's got most of the net covered. He slides across to make the save. Centering feed. And he opts to backtrack here on the play. Philadelphia's gained the line and into the zone. Oh, a clutch save. Brindamore's got the puck near the back end. Looks to set up at the point now. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. The Avs will serve two for slashing. Clark got that zone ability, and here on the power play, a little more open ice could be what he needs to unleash that offense. Clark's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. Was on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Yells ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. Mays got it in the offensive zone. Makes the stop with the blocker. Through center along the wing. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Slides the puck over to Crossman. Gains the zone from the right side. Puck scooped up by Clark. Oh, what a golden opportunity missed there. Now, tough to generate a rebound even when the puck misses the net by that much. Forsberg's time is almost done. The Flyers can't convert on the power play. Both sides are back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Picked up along the wall by Yell. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Cannon of a shot. Oh, Trapper saved by Hexall. Barber's moving the puck through his own zone. Moves it quickly over to Howe. Colorado's got possession here in the neutral zone. Tries to dangle and the puck skips away. He tries that extra move. I mean, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes you've got to just push the puck a little deeper. Now he's got a chance. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw? In all alone on the breakaway! Oh, what a save! Really good effort. I thought it made a... A good play on the net, but the goaltender's right on top of it. The Flyers have it against the wall. Hammers the shot, and that one flies over the net. Boy, he gets lots on this shot, but this is the net by a considerable margin. That's a good shot if they move the net over into the corner. Into the attacking end. LeClaire is going to play into the corner. The Flyers play the puck from the back of the net. On the attack along the boards. Handles it along the blue line. And that carries off a body in the lane. Good hit on the play. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Colorado's in transition. Here's a rocket of a shot. And a strong effort on that play. The Flyers gain control of the puck against the wall. Through pass ahead. Philadelphia is moving it along the wing. The Avalanche have the puck in the open ice. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Snagged with the glove by Hickstall. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. Still no score in this one. Briere's won it in their own end. The Flyers have it now. And he takes the feed. 
The Flyers looking against the half wall. Hodeen's taking it from his own end. Colorado's got a hold of it along the wall. Yells got it along the wing. The Avs take it from the side. He grabs the puck here at the point. He's got a break away! Oh, what a stop! Goes had the puck up big in good position to make the save. And that slides right out to center ice. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Quick shot! Denies him! He got all of it! Grabbed along the boards by Pronger. Turns him away! The Flyers have played from the defensive zone. Defeated front! He scores! What a play! That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Sackix won the draw inside the neutral zone. A little burst of speed now as the puck's moved inside the offensive zone. Moves behind the net. The Flyers will play it from the corner. Great hits up play with the stick by LaFave. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. From the left side, moves it up ahead. to play here James we get a second look at it is the speed that he's skating but also the way he delivers the puck in stride to beat the goaltender officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway Sackix won the draw here in the neutral zone That'll do it for period number one. We'll drop the puck on the second period in just moments. Second period set to get underway. Looking for that go-ahead goal here as the play is underway in the second. And now it's grabbed by Murphy. Taken by Brindamore. And he comes up with it. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Slides that one right across the blue line. Too much traffic in the lane. Poked away in the neutral zone by Lemieux. Pass it up ahead. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. Colorado's got the puck in their own end. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. Nice pass. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Moves it to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off the stick. Puck grabbed by Murphy. The Flyers move it in. Shot. And that sails over the net. He's trying to get rid of it as quickly as possible, but that's got to be on target. And he regains control of the puck. The Flyers take possession in the neutral zone. Stays with it. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. Here's a blast. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Hangs onto the puck. And he takes a shot. Walker stopped by Hickstall. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. And a solid save there as we play on. Look at this attack. It's smothering here. The fans are loving it. Keeps hold of the puck. Takes the feed at the point. Sends the pass over. 
through the middle of the ice. They enter the attacking zone. Stoppage in play as we get an offside. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Face off here in the neutral zone and we are back underway. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Wow, it's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Philadelphia's got it in the offensive zone. Slides the puck down low. Philadelphia's got it behind the net. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Picked up along the boards by May. Can't make the connection on the pass. And a poke check knocks the puck away. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by LaFave. Looks like we got a penalty coming up here. And some textbook body contact there. There he is from the slot. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Just trying to slow your opponent down a little bit. Oftentimes you get too much of them and you end up taking an interference penalty. Both teams lining up for the face off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. I like this. They got together right before the face off and discussed a couple of options. They haven't had a lot of opportunities tonight. Sends it out in front. Off the stick, and they can't complete the play. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Philadelphia's got the puck shorthanded. Scooped up along the wall by Bork. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Handles the pass. The Avalanche have it in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves it to the middle. The shot. Philadelphia is going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And the power play unit comes up empty on that one. Really good pressure by the penalty killers there to keep this game tied. They tie up the power play in pretty nice fashion there. Taken along the wall by Sackett. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Philadelphia's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here's a backhand! Oh, James, that's close. I thought this was in. I thought the forward was going to be able to get to the post first, but he's not. That's a really strong save. No room right there. The Avs take it across the line. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Let's one go. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Here in the late going of the frame, we got a tie game. The Flyers win the draw. Philadelphia is moving the puck through center ice. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Avs are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. I'll be curious to see, James, if they go to the cross crease one time or they were working on it in practice yesterday. Philadelphia is playing the puck behind the net. Shoots it. Stopped by the goaltender. There's another great save. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Colorado's looking to break out. From the left side, they gain the zone. Crossman's got it against the boards. Here's a shot and puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Quick shot. That goes wide. Colorado's got the puck.
puck along the wall. Hodine's got it in the defensive end. Takes the puck at the point. Penalty. Scores! Now you got the lead. Don't sit back. Get right back to the faceoff and try and attack again. This is where I got a lot of my goals, James. You can't fiddle around with a puck there. On the stick, off the stick, and it's in the cage. Philadelphia's got some positive momentum here in the late stages of this middle frame. I like the way they've played, but finally they're able to get in front. Now you play like a front runner. Be confident. Puck picked up by Pronger. And now it's grabbed by Umberger. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Briere's going to play it against the half wall. Here he is, shot right in front! Wah's gonna pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Looks like lineups are set, they're ready to get things back underway. The Flyers win the faceoff. Pronger's got the puck. And with that, two periods now in the books. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. James Sabolski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you all the action. Period number three is set to get underway. And this one's underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is at ice level and gives us his analysis of the first two periods of play. Colorado's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Long reach breaks up the momentum. The Flyers will take it behind the net. From the boards, he takes that pass. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Watson's got the puck in his own zone. And that's a great heads-up play in the offensive zone. The Flyers move it ahead. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Flyers take it along the wall. Takes a puck, but hangs on to the puck. The Avalanche have taken possession in their own end. Takes the shot. Misses over the net. The Flyers gain control of the puck. Quick pass to Barber. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Quick feed to Lemieux. Oh, he got huddled by Hickson. Fans are getting frustrated here, but I don't think they have anyone to blame but their team. Some nights just don't go your way. It's looking like this is one of those nights. The power play unit goes right back to what? The power play can be so frustrating when you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well. You start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. Hammers it on net. That's a beautiful pass save by the goalie there. Positioning's perfect. He gets into the butterfly and makes the save. And that's hooked away. Philadelphia's gained possession along the boards. Pass across to Clark. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Flyers have it against the wall. Manages to hang on. The Avs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Colorado's got the puck against the wall. Here's a shot. That goes off a twig. Forks out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. Well, the penalty killers hang on. They give themselves a chance. There's not much time left, but they were able to stay in touch with the game with a good penalty kill. Maintains possession. Philadelphia is playing it from the side. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Recky. Colorado's got it across the line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Hexall. So easy to see from here. He's so powerful. When he gets that little bit of room, he's going right to the net. He's fast, he's strong, he's powerful. The goalie just beats him this time.
Colorado's got the puck in the defensive end. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Takes it to the front. Blocked away by Hextall. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. And he connects with the long bomb. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Kind of interesting. I mean, the players are frustrated. You can see it. The fans feel this tension because the game's tight. Low scoring, even though there's been lots of chances. The players can relax the grip on the stick. You get a better chance to finish one off. The Avs have it from the corner. In close. Quick stop by Hextall. Slick feed. And a smart heads up play to poke that away by Kovacu. Philadelphia is moving it up the ice. And he regains control of the puck. The Flyers played along the wing. Takes the shot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Oh, what a chance here. Can they make it happen on this 2 on 1? Tries to the crease. Huge stop by Hextall. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Excellent stick work on the play. The Avs move the puck in the defensive zone. Philadelphia's got control of it now from their own end. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Flyers will play it in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Tries it to the crease and swallows that shot up right in the team logo. The Avs have it now. And that pass attempt is deflected. Stays with it. And now he moves it to Lemieux. Less than 60 seconds left in regulation. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. From the back of the cage with the puck. Here's an opportunity in front of the net. And he stopped that one. Scores! Would not be denied like an unstoppable force. Just such determination, James. I love this play. There was no sense that this couldn't be done. You've got to drive into the traffic. You've got to find your way and fight your way to a scoring position. And then finish it off. It's all done perfectly. Colorado's late third period goal certainly opens up a lot of decision making for the coaches, doesn't it? It does, but they must feel pretty good about their position because they just scored. I suspect they've got a little bit of a leg up, even though the game is tied. Jones plays the puck. Into the corner. Colorado's got the puck against the boards. The Avs will play it from the corner. Sends the pass in front. Great defensive heads up play to pick it off. Oh, that's a huge stop by Hextall. And he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the horn. That means overtime is looming. Both teams will refresh and will come back with the drama next. And we are just moments away from overtime. Overtime has begun, Ray. I know you love these moments. Blake's taking it from his own end. On the attack along the boards. Fires it! Off target! He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Here's a chance. And he stands tall in goal. The Avs have played from the defensive zone. Across the line from center. Takes a shot. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Game on a stick! And he denies him with a monster! 
extra save here in overtime. Wise up, lets it go. Oh, and a huge save. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. And he easily stops that one. Primo stick handling in his own zone. Picking up some steam at center ice. Rips it on net. Oh, and he stops that one. Moves it to yell. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Nearing the final minute of OT. And the extended stick ends that one. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. Brindamore has won it off the face-off. Simple detail. Win the draw. You can get out of the zone. To the most slot. A chance to win it. Oh, we are still tied. What a stop. Philadelphia's got the puck here in the open ice. The Flyers are on the attack. Philadelphia's got it along the wall. Here's the blast. Misses. It was right there. Oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Gains the zone through center. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Brindamore. Philadelphia's got the puck. Here's a short pass to Howe. And now he tries to get it across to Primo. Moves it to the middle. And that's stopped. Moves it quickly over to Lemieux. Tosses it to Tucker. And there's the horn. Overtime solves nothing. So we'll decide it in a shootout next. gets to go first here in this shootout. Probably a little less pressure as he looks to try to set the tone here. Makes the save. Focused in on the puck. Gets himself in the center of it. Makes an easy stop. Sackick's ready to rock here in this shootout. And that doesn't go. And that, in fact, goes to the corner. He froze when it came time to shoot the puck. He made his move and now he's behind the net. Huge opportunity there. Really could have spread the shootout out a little bit if he's able to score. He doesn't get it done. And he makes it look easy on the play. Just like they do in practice. Stop just what the shooter has to offer. The goalies have been putting on a show so far in this shootout. Round three is set to go. Let's see if that changes. Makes the stop. This is why they practice it, right, Ray? Yeah, keep it as uncomplicated as possible, and he makes a good save. Jones can play the role of Sandman with a goal. Get to acknowledge the fans and their support. 